Hello and welcome to EGW Writing's Tech Tips. I'm your host, Daryl Thompson. Thank you for joining us today in another of our series on learning how to use the new EGW Writing's 2 app for Android. Now today what I'm going to do is one of my favorite parts of the app and I'm going to show you how to use the audiobooks. Now audiobooks is built into the app in multiple languages. You know, we have hundreds of audiobooks across the whole app. You know, actually more than 500 audiobooks in fact in th 13 different languages. In English for example, we have like about 170 audiobooks, I believe. And in that we have most of all of her writings. We have all of her devotionals. We have her biographies. We have the modern English. And we have many other books in there that are important for you to be able to listen to. Many of you live in a very busy life and you're not able to spend the time to sit down and read. But if you're getting ready in the morning or you're cooking or you're driving to work, Listening to the LMGY audiobooks is one of my favorite things that you can do in doing those activities. Or maybe you want to go out and exercise and go for a walk, put on a pair of headphones and listen to EGW writings um, through the audiobooks as you're jogging. You could listen through all the testimonies or listen to, listen to the conflict series. It's all there. Now, to be able to use that, I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration on how to use the audiobooks and how you open them up. You can also download when you come into all collections. You can see here that I got 120 of 120 and I've downloaded everything into the app. Now you can see here I have yet to download like the manuscript releases or the miscellaneous collections. Maybe I want to download the miscellaneous collections for offline use. So I can just tap here, tap the download arrow, and I can just tap download all. And you can see that they are downloading. It says loading now and away it goes in the download manager. Now if I close that out and it's going to download, then index it for my device. If I want to come back and see where I'm up to, I can tap the side menu. I can click on Download Manager and here it is. It's um, gone into the books, you know, the next section in the books. Now if I want to see if I've downloaded anything else, see how in the books I can tap there and I can select Audiobooks and you can see if I come over to Downloaded, these are where I can go ahead and down delete, once I've downloaded to save storage, my audiobooks. I can just tap on the delete, remove, and then delete, remove, and there they are. I've removed the large uh, 2 meg files that I had downloaded on the audiobooks. I can do the same if I've come down and downloaded e any ebooks. I haven't downloaded any there, but this is how you switch between what you've downloaded. So if you, I can go and delete all in one go there if I wish. Say I want to come and I'll click on, you know, Avenus Tome. And I click on Avenus Tome. And when I click on that, I can delete it from this device or I can delete it from the cloud. Deleting it from the cloud means it will remove it from all other devices as well. If I delete it from this device, it will show up in the cloud, but not on this device anymore. So I'm going to go and delete EGW Cloud. Okay. And now it's gone from everywhere. And if I come back into Home, Go to all collections, go to books. It now said 119 of 120. And you can see how Avenist Home is not downloaded. If I just want to download that individual book, you can just click on the little cloud icon there. It will spin around and it will download that book. So that's basically how I, I delete the books, download the books, and check that the books are downloaded for offline use. And that means that if you don't have a data connection or a cell connection, you can continue to use this app. So as we just learned in the audiobooks, they can be used to fit into your busy life and your busy schedule. If you want to uh, listen to, say, Desire of Ages while you're working, you can have it playing in the background. Or maybe you're driving to work. Or maybe you're cooking dinner. Or maybe you're having breakfast, or maybe you're getting ready in the morning. You can have the audiobook playing in the background. And then if you want to stop and pick up and read, you can also tap, as we showed you, in the table of contents and read along while listening. And that's something that I really like to do, because when you read and listen at the same time, coming in through the two senses, it actually helps you to understand more what you've been reading and listening to. So just remember, as you use EGW Writings daily, it can become part of your spiritual life and your spiritual journey with God. And audiobooks is one of the ways in which you can use to do and help that.
I'm Daryl Thompson. Have a nice day for now.